Probably the big game of the week um, going into last Saturday was the Alabama-Florida game. Uh, that was the game that uh, was the, uh, the game of the week. Alabama started out that game uh, pretty strong, jumped out to a 21-3 lead. Uh, Florida then began to run the football quite efficiently and effectively, closed it to 21-16. Alabama then uh, opened it up to 28 to 16. Uh, Florida then closed it to 28-23. Uh, Alabama then kicked a field goal, and then Florida closed it to 31-29. The difference is, when Florida scored to make it 31-29, they decided to go for two, did not get it, um, and that was really the difference uh, in the ball game. They also missed an extra point early on, uh, which forced them to go for two at the end. So, that being the game of the week, um, I guess my question to you would be, uh, do you think Alabama has some worries going forward, or do you think they just ran into a really good Florida team? I don't think Alabama's worried because they won the game. Right. I think they knew that it was that it was going to be a tough game because they were in the swamp. Right. Florida was ranked number eleven, so I don't think they were expecting to win comfortably. I right. don't think. Right. I, I don't think. So I don't think they're worried. Um. Florida's better than I thought they were, I guess. I mean, I know they were ranked 11th and they were undefeated, you know, right. but I didn't think they were playing that closely. Right. I, I thought that, I guess I should say, I thought Alabama would handle it. Now, I bet the coaching staff, everybody, when they were game playing, I think they realized it was going to be a tough game, probably. Right. right. Even though, look, as a fan who's not doesn't even follow that closely, I, I thought Alabama would win by a couple of scores, you know. Right. So I don't think they're worried at all. Um, I, again, I, I don't know, you know more than I do, if, if they made a lot of mistakes and stuff, Alabama, or if it was just like Florida was. Was um she played really well. I'm not sure, but um, but uh, do you think that should be the toughest um SEC game Alabama has, or do you think they play some tougher? Opponents? Yeah, I think it's probably going to be the toughest game they have. I think they they probably have to play LSU, uh, and LSU is really not the team they were two years ago. Uh, they'll have to play Auburn. Uh, Auburn lost to Penn State in uh, college or in uh, um, State College, Pennsylvania. I think those will be challenging games for Alabama, but I don't think it'll be as challenging a game as Florida. They do not have to play Georgia this year, so the first time they could play Georgia would be in the SEC championship game. Uh, but I think I think the way the game went, I don't think there was a lot of mistakes on either team. I think both offenses just played very well. Uh, I, I have to give credit to Florida, though. Dan Mullen, their coach, you know, last year he had K- Kadarius Tony at wide receiver. He had uh, uh, Pitts, the tight end that was drafted by the Falcons in the number four spot. So he, he they threw the ball quite a bit last year, Florida. This year, he kind of changed his offense to be more of a running offense. And uh, what surprised me, though, was the way Florida was able to run the ball on Alabama. You know, Alabama has always prided itself on having very strong front sevens. They still have tremendous defensive linemen. I think this year, due to injury and talent, they're a little bit lacking at the linebacker position, and I think that's that causes some problems for them in the run game. So that'll be something that we'll have to look at down the road to see if it come back comes back to bite them at all late in the season or possibly in the SEC championship game. But uh, but I think Florida is a really really good football team. Um, of course, they did they did drop some with the loss, but they're only number eleven. They'll have plenty of opportunities to climb back up. They have to play Georgia. Uh, if they beat Georgia, more than likely they'll be playing Alabama again in the SEC championship game. So Florida's uh, in a really good spot at the moment.